It is seven o'clock in Canberra because that's where we begin this morning. Parliament returns today for the first sitting session of the year. The economy and an Indigenous voice referendum highest on the government's agenda. Let's go to Canberra. Joel Philp joins us. Joel, before the sitting day begins, there's the traditional pre-parliamentary church service which you're at at the moment. That's right, Pete. I'm here at St Paul's Anglican Church in Manuka for the annual traditional church service, which marks the first day of the sitting calendar year. It's due to kick off at about 7.30 local time this morning. The Prime Minister, the Opposition Leader and the Governor General are all planned to be in attendance and they should be arriving here soon. But when it, meet, when it comes to being back to business, there's a few key issues on the political agenda. To begin with, the voice to Parliament with a new news poll finding that the majority of Australians support changing the Constitution to enshrine a voice to Parliament. 56% of them say saying that they do support it, with the number of strongly and partly supporting it being split right down the middle, compared to just 37% saying that they don't support it at this stage. And also, the economy is another topic which is hot on the agenda. Inflation is still biting, and the RBA is set to meet tomorrow to consider what would be the ninth consecutive interest rate hike. So those are some issues there that the government's facing. The National Reconstruction Fund legislation will be debated over the first two weeks of Parliament. And, of course, today it's going to be a reflective day with condolence motions moved for the late Liberal Senator Jim Molan. OK, Joel Philp, uh, live from Canberra. And uh, as soon as we see some of those politicians arrive, uh, we'll take you to it, folks. So, uh, Joel, we'll talk to you again soon.